concentration of a solution is a measure of the number of particles of a dissolved solid called solute which are dissolved in liquid called solvent to form a solution. Let's understand this in simple terms. While preparing coffee, we do not know the appropriate amount of sugar to be added. We start by adding a little, let's say half a spoon of sugar. We taste it and add more if required. Here, the sugar is solute. The coffee is the solvent. The more sugar we add, the sweeter is the coffee. Alternatively, we can say that higher concentration of sugar makes coffee sweeter. Can you do the same thing in chemistry? What do you think will happen if you add half spoon or one spoon full of sodium to water? It could lead to explosions, which is dangerous and might result in possible injury. Concentration of a solution is basically amount of solute dissolved in amount of solvent, which can be expressed using different terms. Percent by weight, percent by volume, percent weight by volume, percent volume by weight. Percent by weight, if we add certain amount of solute per 100 gram of solution, it is expressed as percentage by weight. For example, 4.9% of H2SO4 by weight means 4.9 gram of H2SO4 in 100 gram of solution, percent by volume. Similarly, adding certain volume of solute, 100 milliliter of solution is expressed as percentage by volume. For example, 9.8% of HCl by volume means that 100 milliliter of solution contains 9.8 milliliter of HCl. Percent weight by volume. If we express amount of solute in weight and amount of solution in volume, we write concentration as percentage weight by volume. Percent volume by weight. Conversely, expressing solute in volume and solution in weight is defined as percentage volume by weight. There are also some standardized concentration terms used by chemists for reactions. Concentration Molarity Molality Normality and Mole Fraction Molarity The most commonly used concentration term is molarity, which is the number of moles of a solute present in a liter of solution. It is a reaction between solute and solution. It is expressed as moles per liter and has a symbol capital M. So, if someone asks you to prepare a 2 molar solution of H2SO4, then don't panic. All you are required to do is to add 2 moles of CaCO3 in 1 liter of the solution. In case you do not have an instrument to measure the volume of solution, we can use molality to express concentration. Molality is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. It is the relationship between solute and solvent. Molality is dependent on the mass of solvent and is expressed in moles per kilogram and is represented with a small m symbol. You might wonder, why do you need two different terms to express concentration? It is only to compensate for inability to measure volume. No. Volume of solution is dependent on temperature. If we increase the temperature of the solution, the volume will change. Thus, the molarity. Since molality uses mass of solute and mass of solvent, it is not impacted by temperature change. That's why we use molality in measuring colligative properties. Normality Normality is also an important concentration term which is defined as number of gram equivalents present in 1000 ml of solution. It is represented by the symbol of capital N. Number of gram equivalents can be found by dividing the number of moles by n factor, which is total amount of positive or negative charge in a compound. Mole fraction. Finally, mole fraction is the ratio of number of moles of solute divided by the number of moles of solution. That is, if there are two components in a solution A and B, the mole fraction of A is calculated as number of moles of A divided by sum of number of moles of A and B. 
Remembering the definition and formulae of these concentration terms will help you in easily solving stoichiometric problems. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.